Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, for the King of glory is coming in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord God Almighty, mighty in battle. Praise God. Lift your heads up today. Praise God. Lift them up. Look up, sit up, scoot up, and let's get ready to hear the word of the Lord. Praise God. We welcome you on another Bible study night, and we will finish out, my God, this 19th chapter. There'll be part five. Uh, we got about 10 more verses, and we will get through those verses on tonight. I promise you we'll get through them on tonight. Praise God. This is Wednesday hump day. Praise God, trust and pray that you're having a great week thus far and that all of the mothers had a great Mother's Day this past Sunday that has gone by, amen, and that your, your children and everybody treated you right, did you right, cooked for you, took you out, whatever. Praise God. Glory to God. So we're going to go right on into the word of God, if you will. So go with us to that 19th chapter. And uh, I believe we left off at around the 29th verse. But of course, we, one of the things that we always do is we uh, just back up a couple of verses and recapitulate some of the things that we shared on, on last week, you know, doing that quick review. And then we'll move right on. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let's 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 go ahead and read. Uh, 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 let's go ahead and read the 26th verse. It says, but, but, but his wife looked back and, and listen, but his wife looked back from behind him, talking about Lot's wife, and she became a pillar of salt. Because uh, God had told them, hey, the angels had told him, get up, get out of this place, escape to the mountain. Don't look back. Don't look back back don't look back and of course you know she 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 looked back and 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 as a result she turned into a pillar of salt this was God's judgment on those twin cities it was Sodom and Gomorrah uh, it had reached a crescendo it had uh, listen sin had gotten so and one of the things about God people will say how can a, a loving God a holy God a great God an awesome God how can he uh, destroy those twin cities like that and, 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 and the loss of all of those lives. Let me tell you something. Uh, God has to perform surgery in order to save the patient. Are you with me? Because sin is like a cancer, and, it, and if you don't get it out, listen, listen, God's judgment has to come. Yes, God is a great God, an awesome God, and a good God, but he's also a God of judgment. Yes, he's love, but he's a God of judgment. Are you hearing me, beloved? And then let's go on to the 27th verse. And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord. So he had been standing before the Lord, praying and interceding. And the reason that Lot was as blessed as he was because of Abraham, and it had Lot stayed with Abraham, he would have really been blessed. Uh, listen, God had made a promise to Abraham. Listen, I won't destroy him until you get him out of there. And, and Lot had better be thankful for Abraham. Amen. And then verse, verse, verse 28 says, And he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah and toward all the lands of the plain and beheld and lo, the smoke of the country. Listen, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of a furnace. Can you imagine that? When judgment fell on those twin cities, notice what it says. It says, And he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah and toward all the land of the plain. My God. And beheld, and lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of a furnace. My God. So th this wasn't no ordinary fire, okay? My God, this was no ordinary fire. Uh, in other words, it, 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 it was so intense that everything was destroyed or melted around it. That's just how intense that this fire was, my God. And keep in mind in verse 27 again, and Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord. And Abraham was still interceding, okay? And so we see God's judgment being, being poured out upon those twin cities. And verse 29 says, and it came to pass when God destroyed the cities of the plain that God remembered Abraham. God remembered Abraham. Let me tell you something. God remembers you. Glory to God. Irrespective of what is going on, listen, those of us, you, you pray, God remembers you. Listen, that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow. And when he overthrew the cities in which Lot dwelt, my God, my God, 
so uh, Abraham's intercession didn't go unanswered. My God, continue to pray and intercede. We need more intercessors. We need more of those who will stand in the gap and pray and intercede for our world, for our nation, for our country. Listen, we need intercessors. Intercessors, excuse me. Because the Bible says, the, listen, the, the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous availeth much. Let me tell you something. There are pockets of judgment that's taken place throughout the world. Pockets of judgment. And I, be, I believe that there is. But let me tell you something. When, when, when the church is taken out of here, because every time a, a, a true, authentic saint transition, the world gets a little bit darker. Every time a true, authentic saint transition, the world gets a little bit darker. And, and, and let me say this. When, when, when the rapture takes place, which is imminent, which can happen at any time, when God takes his people out here, the world's going to get a whole lot darker. If you think it's dark now, if you think it's in a mess now, listen, when the church is taken out, oh, my God. My, 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 my. Mm -mm -mm. So let's read that 29th verse again. And it came to pass when God destroyed the cities of the plain that God remembered Abraham, that God remembered Abraham and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow when he overthrew the cities in the which Lot dwelt. Thank God for intercessors. Thank God for somebody who will stand in the gap and pray and intercede because things can be a whole lot worse than what it is now, irrespective of how bad you may think it might be right now. Thank God for the light that is still on now. My God. Verse 30. And Lot went up out of Zor and dwelt in the mountain and his two daughters with him, for he feared to dwell in Zor. So Keep in mind, Lot had disobeyed God because when the Lord said, listen, up, get out of here, escape to the mountain. Listen, he wanted to go to some neighboring place rather than wanting to do what God had told him. Are you with me? And so he, he's, he's living in fear because he's fearful that God is going to destroy Zor as well. And so he, he moves to this nearby mountain. And let's, let's finish reading. And he dwelt in a cave. He's living in a cave. Living in a cave, my God, and he and his what? Two daughters. Keep in mind that his wealth was once, their wealth was once so great that, listen, he and Abraham had to depart because, uh, listen, because of, of, of their herds and, and the size of all that they had, but now he's living in a cave. Let me tell you something. Sin will take you further than you want to go and cost you more than you can pay. Let me say it again. Sin will take you further than you want to go and cost you more than you can pay. Verse uh, 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 30, yeah, ver verse 31, but let me, let me get that latter part of verse 30 again. And he dwelt in a cave, he and his two daughters. Let me ask you a question tonight. Where are you dwelling? Are you in a cave? Where are you dwelling? My God, my God, my God. Mm, where are you dwelling? Where are you dwelling? Where are you dwelling? Where are you dwelling? There's, there's, there's no profit in going in the direction of the devil. Not at all. Because sin will cost you more then you can pay and carry you and take you further than you want to go. In verse 31, and the firstborn said unto the younger, our father is old and there's not a man, listen, in the earth to come in unto us after the manner of all the earth. And see, during that dispensation, to, to, to keep the preservation of the family line, that, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was important during those times, okay? And... Uh, and, and keep in mind that, that, that Lot is now old, he's poor, are you with me? And, and, and uh, you know, uh, all of the belongings had been destroyed along with Sodom uh, and, his, and his daughters, that they, they saw no prospect for marriage. And, and so they're gonna commit a monstrous sin now. 
And when you look at our society today, listen, there, there's not a lot of prospects for marriage. Listen to what I'm about to say now. Because you got sodomites. You, 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 the, the, for a lot of women, there are not a lot of prospects for marriage anymore. I'm just throwing that out there. Look at verse 32. It says, come, let us make our father drink wine. My God, my God, my God, my God. Sounds a little familiar. Remember Noah? I think it was over in the ninth chapter, somewhere along in there, that, 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 that his daughters got him drunk huh? and laid with him incest, incest. <sighs> Come, let us make our father drink wine. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The Bible says wine is a marker and strong drink is raging and he that is deceived thereby is not wise. Look not on the glass when it is red. Are you with me? Because it will bite as an adder. You got what I call so-called sipping saints, you know. Oh, just having, when I have a little glass of wine, you know, a, a little this, a little that, a little Chardonnay, a little, uh, and come on, come on. Really? Really? Instead of a saint, you ought to be an ain't. Really? Oh, well, just a little wine, nothing wrong with having a little sip. Yeah, I call them sipping saints. Are you with me? What does the Bible says? Wine is a marker. Listen, what, that's the Bible. Wine is a marker, strong drink. So what, are you, what am I saying? Abstinence. Let's leave it alone. Are you hearing me? It, 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 because it is, it, is, it, is on the, it is the pathway of the road to sin. Are you hearing me? How many families have been destroyed because you was going to have a little sip? How many people have been killed by Drunk drivers. Matter of fact, my, my wife and I, we, we, were, we were in an accident many years ago. And guess what? It was a drunk driver. She was in the hospital for five days. I was in there for four. Are you hearing me? How, how many lives have been uh, damaged and destroyed because of intoxicated drivers? Really? And now you have, you have those certain ones uh, supposedly in the church now said, uh, well, I just, just drink a little bit of cake and that occasion and, and then they end up being a wine bibber. Are you hearing me? Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Okay? And I, and I, can, give you, I can give you several scriptures referring to it. Several. More than that, really. My God. Let's read on. So they, they, they said, come, let us make our father drink wine, and we will lie with him that we may preserve seed for our father. My God. So his own daughters made him drunk. Ah, Lord Jesus, which brought into existence the Ammonites and the Moabites. His own daughters made him drunk. Wow. What a, what a sad, sad commentary. Listen, verse 33, and they made their father drink wine that night. And the firstborn went in and lay with her father. And he perceived not. Listen, he didn't even know. Listen, he was laying with his own daughter. He perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. My God, my God. And this probably was no, no, no drunken orgy, so to speak, but it was really a lack of faith. OK, as the cause of all sin, listen to what I'm going to say. The cause of all sin is a lack of faith. Go with me to Romans chapter 14. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Romans 14 and uh, verse 23, I believe. Yeah. Romans 14, 23. Let's 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 go there. Mm 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 mm. Listen, uh, and he who doubts is damned if he eat because he eats not of faith. Uh, for whatsoever is not of faith, listen to this, for whatsoever is not of faith is what? Sin. Wow. So whatever is not of faith is sin. 
These daughters committed incest with their own father. They got him drunk and went and laid with him in, 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 in order to try to preserve their seed rather than having faith in God and what he could do. Are you hearing me? My, 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 my. Lord Jesus. And, and let me say that. There are those who are in a lifestyle today, sodomites or wh whatever you want to, listen, who are in a lifestyle today. Let me tell you something. Homosexuality cannot procreate. I want to say that again. Homosexuality cannot procreate. And one of the things you notice, they want to adopt kids. And the, the whole purpose and motive behind that is to groom, is to groom kids. Because if, if you can't procreate and have kids, so what's the next thing you want to do? Oh, well, oh, we're going to help kids out and bring them out of poverty and bring them out of this by adopting. Yes, so you can groom them. Let me tell you something. In our society today, they're trying to decriminalize pedophilia. They want to try and decriminalize it. Are you with me? It's a sin. It is, it is a gross sin against kids because how many, and I, I will guarantee you, if I could sit down and go into the archives of some folks life and talk with them, I, I can identify why they have ended up in a lifestyle such as they've ended up in. Because some of it was as a result of being abused as a child. Are you with me? I'm, I'm gonna come back to that. Go, go with me right quick. Go with me to um, James uh, chapter uh, one. I'm gonna read something. Verse 13, James chapter one. It says, let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. Mm, 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 mm. When, uh, listen, there's no perfect person. Everybody is tempted. That, that, that shows you that, that sin nature that you still have to deal with. But let me say, say something. When you're tempted, you're not tempted of God. Let, let's read what James says. Let no man say when he's tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempts he any man, my God. But every man is tempted when he's drawn away of his own lust and entice. In other words, the temptation to sin, it, it, it will appeal to that moral defect in our life, which is that sin nature, okay? Uh, then when lust has conceived, what, is, what happens? It brings forth sin. Again, these temptations don't come from God. Are you with me? It is re the result of the fall of Adam and Eve in the garden, okay? And the, 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 the sin nature, which can only be held at bay, or you can have a victory when you, watch this here, when you Keep looking to Jesus, who's the author and the finish of your faith. Because whenever you're, listen, the, the Bible says, for without faith it's impossible to please God. He that come to God must believe that he is and that he's a of those that diligently seek him. Whatever is, is not of faith is of sin. So whenever you look to something else other than Christ and him crucified, why, listen to this, whenever you look and put your faith in something else other than Christ, and him crucified, that's misplaced faith, and that's going to be sin every time. You have to always keep your faith in Christ. When you find yourself wanting to get out of your lane, say, help me, Holy Ghost, to stay in my lane, because I'm about to get out. Are you hearing me? Let's, let's, let's read on. He says, Verse 14 again, but every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and entice. Mm. We, we know no one's perfect. We, we understand that. We know that. But, but listen, don't go out and intentionally sin. When, when you have those, listen, ask the Holy Spirit to help you. It says, then when lust has conceived, it brings forth sin. My God. 
my God, my God. When we place our faith in Christ and what he did for us on the cross, hear this, then we give the Holy Spirit the latitude to help us. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look, 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 let's, let's finish reading that. Then when lust has conceived, it brings forth sin. Watch this here. And when sin is finished, it brings forth death. My God. That, 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 that refers to the spiritual death because sin is what separates us from God. You know, the Bible says, there hath no temptation overtaken you, but such is common to man. But God will provide a way of escape. God will always provide a way of escape. The question is, do you want to escape? He says, do not err, my beloved brethren. He's, what, what, is, what is James saying? Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. Because, listen, sin is the ruin of all that is good, okay? Let's go back to the 19th chapter of Genesis. My God. But they, 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 they slept with their biological father. Incest. Incest. And whether you know it or not, incest still goes on today. Whether you know it or not, there are those who try to green, groom kids and desensitize them in order that they can have sex with them. There are those who want to decriminalize pedophilia. Are you hearing me? <sighs> help us, Holy Ghost. Help us, help us, help us, help us, help us, help us, help us. Uh, uh, let, 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 let's say, let, listen, verse 35. And they made their father drink wine that night also, and the younger rose and lay with him, and he perceived not when she lay down, nor when she arose. Keep in mind, these association brings on a simulation. For a good majority of their life, these girls had been raised in what? Had been raised or had a good part of their lives raised in Sodom. It, at least for a good part of their lives were raised in Sodom. And so it shouldn't be surprising then that the older them would, would suggest, let us make our father drink and lie with him. Are you with me? I said something earlier. Homosexuality cannot procreate. So what does it do? It, it tries, it, it, what does it do? It tries to, 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 to groom kids. Are you hearing me? It tries to groom kids and indoctrinate them into a lifestyle that's totally opposed unto God. That's totally opposed unto God, knowing that they can't procreate. So their next best thing that they're trying to do is to desensitize kids. Are you with me? With the drag queens reading stories to kids and, and all of the other nonsense and the no sense. Okay? Because kid, children are very impressionable. Okay? The, small kids are not at a place of accountability. Are you with me? They're very impressionable. And so you got those out there that who wants to decriminalize this type of behavior and this type of nonsense and no sense. Are you with me? Uh, so these girls, his daughters felt that the only way that they could preserve the family life is that they, you know, uh, uh, because of their, their low moral standards. Are you hearing me? Uh, let's get our father drink, drunk. And then let's go and lie with him. And, and you, and you, uh, help us, Holy Ghost. Let, let, let me read on. Thus were both the daughters of Lot with child, what? By their father. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You know, Lot sort of really disappears from history at this point. Uh, 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 it's some records that say that uh, Abraham probably took Lot and his daughters into his house and to, to, to help support them. I'm going to say it again. Sin will lead you further than you want to go and cost you more than you can pay. Are you with me? That, that lifestyle uh, 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 
uh, it is it is it is it is horrid. It is an abomination unto God. And God doesn't save people in their sins. He saved them from their sins. Are you hearing me, beloved? Listen. Thus both the daughters of Lot with child by their father. In verse 37, and the firstborn bore a son and called his name Moab, which means from my father. The same is the father of the Moabites unto this day. And the younger, she also bore a son and called his name Benami, means son of my people. The same is the father of the children of Ammon until this day. We have completed this 19th chapter. My God, my God, my God. And we can see the results of sin and what it can do. I, I said earlier that, listen, everybody got a past, but you don't live in your past. I said this earlier. No one is perfect, but you don't willfully and purposely go out in sin. Are you hearing me, beloved? My God, my God. God's judgment is going to fall. It's going to come. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's going to come. There is going to be a reckoning that day. And just like what we saw, and if you look at the order of things, just like what we saw over with Noah, you know, Noah preached, you know, it's going to rain. They laughed at him. They mocked him. They scorned him. They scoffed at him. People are doing the same thing today. They're laughing. Listen, those who will place their faith in Christ and believe there is a God in heaven. Listen, people will scoff you. They will mock you. They will criticize you. You know, and, 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 and then here's the other thing that, that, that folk want to say. Oh, you, you know, you, 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 uh, you, uh, you are homophobic. You, no, 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 no. You, uh, you are homophobic. No, 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 no. We talking Bible. Bible 101. We talking Bible. Either you believe it or you don't. Yes, God gives you a choice. And that's why he says, choose you this day. Who are you going to serve? The choice is yours. Listen, life is not a dress rehearsal. You don't get to do it over again. People make choices every day. They, they choose whether they want to go to work. They choose whether they want to get up. They even choose whether they want to work. Are you with me? Cho ch listen, we are all free moral agents. God doesn't make you do anything. He tells you what to do, but he doesn't make you do anything. And the choices that you make, the choices that you make, the choices that you make are going to determine where you spend eternity. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The choices that you make will determine where you spend eternity. And the question is, where will you spend eternity? Make the right choice. And the right choice is Jesus Christ and him crucified. But Jesus said, I'm the way, I am the truth, I am the life. My God. P people love to talk about, oh, well, you know, y'all 20, the, the church 25 years behind the culture. Listen, the culture, listen, the church is to dictate culture, not culture dictate to the church. Yes, culture changes. But the word of God doesn't change. It is the same. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so people feel as though, well, I have to do this and I have to do that. Because that, that's, that's, that's the culture now. No, no, no. This is the gospel. And it doesn't change. It's the gospel and it doesn't change. But I'm here today to tell you, listen, if you are in a lifestyle that you know, and you know it's displeasing to God. Listen, Jesus died on the cross for you. He hung high and he stretched wide. The question is, will you accept him or will you continue to reject him? And when you, when you continue to reject light, 
light will be withdrawn from you and then God turns you over to a reprobate mind. Don't let that be you. He loves you. He loved you enough that he gave the very best that heaven had to offer and that was his son. And it's, and it's a faith walk. It's, it's all about faith. But without faith, it's impossible to please God. What's that was not a faith, it's sin. It's a faith walk. It's a faith walk. For we walk by faith and not by sight. And, 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 and people find it difficult to embrace a God of heaven whom they can't see, but yet he's revealed to us throughout creation. My God, my God. Listen, not out of, we're just out of time. We've completed this 19th chapter. Trust and pray that you got something from it. I want to encourage you very strongly to, to share these teachings, these Bible studies with others. Go ahead and hit that share button and send it to someone else, uh, a friend, a co-worker, whomever, a relative, a sibling. Uh, also, if you've not subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It takes less than 25 seconds to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and it doesn't cost you a thing, okay? Continue to follow us on Facebook, share it, amen, and uh, 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 if you would like to visit one of our live services, you can do so each and every Sunday morning 10 a.m. here at The Rock. We will welcome you here as well as our Bible study at 6.30 on Wednesdays. Praise God. And uh, we'll have more to say about that, you know, in the coming weeks. Uh, uh, again, not out of word, just out of time. I got to go. I got to get. I got to split. I'm going to get out of here. And, 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 and I want to admonish you and encourage you. Share it with a friend. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed. And if it's been a blessing to you, give us a thumbs up. Praise God. Say, hey, give us a like. Say, I like this. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so we love you. So listen, until next time, listen, we love you in Jesus. We love you in Jesus. I love God and I love people. And I listen, the devil trying to take as many folk to hell with him as he can. And I want to try and take as many to heaven with me as I can. So in the meantime and in between time until the next time, listen, we love you in Jesus. Be blessed. <laughs>